it really is the IPL scan of worms. Every day it seems that one skeleton after another comes tumbling out of cricket's worst kept secrets covered. How much worse is it going to get before Lalit Modi's ouster on Monday? Because it now seems certain that Lalit Modi, who's been questioned by the income tax again today for six to seven hours, is going to be voted out by the governing council. There are also serious questions about whether cricket and the IPL can be cleaned up and whether IPL is now a tainted brand. Joining us in the studio today is one of Indian cricket's best known, best respected names, also a member of the IPL Governing Council, M.A.K. Pataudi. Mr. Pataudi, it's a pleasure to have you on the show and with us in the NDTV studios. You must be very disturbed when you see what's happening to the world of cricket around you. No, it is disturbing and it's also very confusing because one actually doesn't know what's happening or what kind of stuff is going to come out in another half an hour's time. Um, there are a lot of allegations, a lot of accusations. Not many have actually been proven yet. Hmm. But uh, there is very little, um, you know, there has to be some smoke, you know, unless there's No fire. smoke without yeah, fire. there has to be something somewhere. But it's not been proven yet. So we just hope that things are not as bad as they look. Do you really think that? I mean, no, do you really I think just this hope. <laughs> the wishful thinking, some would Absolutely. say. Absolutely. I have a feeling it is wishful thinking. Let's talk about the man at the center of the storm. He, Lalit Modi was once the face of IPL, in a yes, way. Yes, absolutely. Yeah? He was yes. the face. He was seen yes. to be the architect. He was the face of the IPL. Do you now believe that it's pretty certain that come Monday, Lalit Modi will no longer be the IPL commissioner? You know, if Lalit Modi doesn't come to the meeting, which has been called on the 26th, I suspect the BCCI will take a very strict view of this. Um, but Lalit is also playing you know, pretty hard to get. So I'm not sure what he's up to. Um, BCCI have no choice because it is a parent body, um, but to deal harshly then with, with Mr. Modi. Will people like yourself who are on the governing council, if it comes down to it, will you exercise your vote to oust Lalit Modi? I don't think it will ever come to a vote. Why is that? Because I think there will be a general opinion, general, general opinion amongst the governing council anyway. So the, the voting won't come in. Uh, the way I feel, certainly. So let, let me read between the lines there, Mr. Pataudi, because basically what you're suggesting is that there is already a consensus on what needs to happen. And that consensus is that the IPL and the Governing Council needs a new chief. Yes, unless, of course, Mr. Modi comes on the 26th and he says, you know, if he says, listen, I've been working 20 hours a day for the last six weeks, I can't have an answer for you. Give me three or four days. I will give you an answer because he's been saying that everything is clean and clear. If he does that, then the, the board may give him time. But since he's being himself so difficult, I don't think the BCI has much, much really much... Uh... So if he comes and he participates in the proceedings and he says, I'm open to a probe, I, I'm willing to answer your questions, give me some more time, then it may not be the ouster of Modi on Monday. No, then I, I may feel like saying that, you know, the chat is telling the truth in the sense that he has been working very hard. He has been actually behind all the IPL successes so far. So if he wants three or four days, then I think he should be given three or four days. But if he doesn't show up for the meeting, it's pretty clear Lalit Modi is out. I think so, yes. Okay. Now, Lalit Modi is fighting back. He's, he's leaked very clearly uh, private email correspondence that took place within the governing council on this issue of disclosing the ownership holdings. Do you believe he should have done that? On Twitter? First on Twitter, and then yesterday we saw that there were leaked correspondence where Lalit Modi suggests that now that I've disclosed Kochi's holdings, maybe we should disclose everybody else's. Shishank Manohar writes back and says, uh, well, let's discuss this. This involves legal question. Arun Jaitley writes back and says, I second that. And Lalit Modi's camp, as it were, positions this as, hey, I was ready to disclose the holdings. Yeah, the no. governing council <clears throat> stopped. No, I understand that. I think the first Twitter part was totally wrong. It was wrong? I think so. I think he should have done it in a different way. Um, the second part, I think he's trying to position himself a little bit um, so that he has some kind of reason or excuse to say, listen, I did do this, but I mean, I was stopped. But I think that actually came too late. Hmm. So I think uh, that will not be acceptable. Uh, I certainly wouldn't accept it myself.